Hi everyone, welcome to Max King and I'm Teacher Max. Today we are going to learn indices. Index is the singular, while indices is the plural. Actually, we have learned a little bit about indices in the chapter square, square root, cube, cube root. Now, when a number is multiplied by itself, for example, 7 times 7, we say it is 7 squared. When that number is multiplied by itself again, that is 7 times 7 times 7, it is 7 cubed. Now, in this chapter, we are going to learn about the mathematics of a number multiplied by itself many times. For example, 7 multiplied by itself 5 times. If we have 5 times 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 5, where there are 9 fives, this can be quite complicated to write or even read. Now we can write these in index notation as follow. This notation tells us that there are 9 fives multiplying each other. Here, we call the 5 base and the 9 index. For this notation, we read it as 7 to the power of 5. This is 7 to the power of 2, but we usually just say 7 square. This is 7 to the power of 3, but usually we just say 7 cubed. And this one is a to the power of n. This one, negative 2 over 5 to the power of 4. It means negative 2 over 5 multiply itself 4 times. Square root 3 to the power of 6 means square root 3 multiply itself six times and this one x plus three in bracket to the power of four means x plus three multiply itself four times find the value of negative two to the power of five and that is And the answer is negative 32. Note that the sign here is negative. Find the value of negative 2 to the power of 6. And that is... And the answer is 64. Note that the answer is positive. Find the value of 0 0.6 to the power of 9 is equal to 0 0.6 multiply itself 9 times. For this, we can use the calculator to help us. And we get 0 0.010078. And for this one, negative 1 over 3 to the power of 3. And the answer is negative 1 over 27. 